Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Mad Money Banks, and I'm gonna show you guys the new, not new product. It's been a, a, a pretty sure it's been a few months old, but I'm just getting it. It's the Nyko two times the capacity power pack for the PS4 controller. It cost me twenty dollars from uh, GameStop, and uh, I bought it because I got a little discount from using the power card and. I think uh, something rolled over from Black Friday. So this is another way you can increase the battery life of your controller. So it'll give you an extra 1000 mAh battery, which is supposed to increase it by double, which is cool. And you also still have the battery that is built in the PS4 controller. Now this controller I'm using is uh, from DNA Mods. I got it a few months ago from, uh, from uh, them. So I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna check out their custom controllers I love this controller so what I'm gonna do is put the battery pack on this one because I have not opened this controller ever and I do not choose to if you guys you know don't feel too confident with opening your controllers this would be a great product to uh, to think about getting so I don't know how exactly how well it works yet just because I, I haven't tried it yet I got it today and I figured you guys would be interested in it because I know a lot of you guys commented on my uh, other video about changing the battery in the PS4 controller. And my other controller is sitting right here. Which I still play with all the time. Once one, once one uh, controller runs out, I use the other one. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this for you guys. Open it here. It's pretty simple packaging. It looks like uh, a little tight. There we go. That's what she said. All right, so here's the directions. We'll set the box to the side. I think you guys seen all the components to this. It's pretty much just a. It's a weird shaped box, but um, Nyko is a uh, pretty common for boxes like that. So um, let's see the directions. Looks like just quick step directions. As you can see, plop it on, press the button, charge it. Uh, the, oh, these are different charger. I guess they're saying that um, you can do, you can actually charge the pack while like with the regular cord still. You don't have to change cords. And uh, I don't know what that is. I guess that's a different charger or there's a charger base that goes to it also that you can use. But uh, we'll put this away. We'll try that ourselves just to show you how it works. Let's pop this out of here. Oh wow, the packaging is kind of cheap. Broke pretty quickly. I must have pressed the button already it had turned on so let's take it out of here this is how it looks it's actually it feels well built here let's try to zoom in here so you can see what's going on there it says 3.7 volts 1000 mah 3.7 watts and there you go one button up here a light LED, i'm guessing that's led light and uh you have the little micro i think it's the micro usb as well and uh number serial number and stuff but it's really sleek i think it it's actually got a real like bumpy feel to it it feels nice though it actually feels similar to the regular ps4 controller now to just put it on all you have to do is put it on the back here like that and then push it on now when i tried to do it first it kind of stopped a little you have to push this like force it a little upward so then it fits perfectly with the port on your controller and be mindful that like with me I have a custom controller and by doing that it does scrape it a little bit not bad or anything nothing really to complain about but that little part right there will get scuffed up a little but let's put it back on see like it doesn't go on extremely easy but if you push to the, to the front a little it'll pop on and that's how your controller will look now it does add some bulk to it, but honestly, the bulk is still comfortable because my fingers will go in between here and I get, it feels like a fatter controller, but it's not bad. It doesn't cover the light bar. I just accidentally pressed the button there and there goes the controller is glowing as you can see. When you press it again, it turns it off. So let's try it out one more time. There you go and it, con and it charges up. Now let's see if it can work when it's, when it's on. I just turn the PS4 on, light bar is on, let's charge it. I'm going to look at the uh, TV just to make sure that it's charging for you guys so you guys know that you guys can charge it while you're in game. It's supposed to give you 
uh, a few more hours of uh, gameplay, uh, not gameplay, of gaming, so I think this is actually a really good solution to uh, the low batteries that they put in controllers like these. It's 100% simple too, like it's, you can plop it off, it'll still, you gotta make sure you press that button otherwise they'll stay charging. I can put it on the second controller. I can always have this pack in, uh, charging if I want. Or I can set it to the side and um, and uh, have it ready if I need it. There you go, that one's charging now. As you can see the light on here. Can't see it that well, but the light on here, turn it, there you go. Turn it off and on and it glue up a little. I think this one is already charged though. It's been charging all night, so it's turning off. But um, that's pretty simple. And I'm looking at the TV right now, and the TV does show that the battery, the controller is on, so we'll pop this on onto the uh, Ninja Turtles controller one more time. There we go, got it on. Yep, it's charging on the screen. So yeah, this is a, definitely a great solution to think about when you think about increasing the battery life for your controller. Uh, I didn't buy two, I only bought the one because 20 bucks seemed like it was kind of steep. So, bought the one. I most likely will be getting another as long as it works. I'll let you guys know probably on Twitter how well the uh, battery life is after installing this uh, battery pack. So, that's it for now and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.